I just came across a problem. It says 1.01 to the power of 102. Which one is bigger? And I, if I can just rewrite left hand side into 1 plus 0 0.01 can be written into 1 plus 1 over 100. And we have to the power of 100. So that immediately reminds me of the definition of the of the base of natural logarithm. All right, that's one plus one over n to the power of n, where n is a positive integer, and n approaches infinity. That whole thing will approach e, where e is approximately two point seven one something. But I used calculator to calculate this left hand side approximately 1.2.7048 something, right? That's obvious because it uh, makes perfect sense because here 100 is already big enough, right? As n gets larger and larger, gets large enough, this will get close enough to its limit, right? But we still want to prove it rigorously, right? So in this case, let me just rewrite it into just 1 plus 1 over 100, multiply the same thing, same thing, all the way, same thing. And at the same time, 2 can be written into 101 over 100 times 102 over 101 times 103 over 102, all the way up to 200 over 199. Right, the reason is because uh, this part, this part cancel out, this with this cancel out, this cancel with the next, and this one cancel with the previous top. So 200 still remains, 100 still remains. So exactly, that's two. Right. And also at the same time, I can rewrite it into, to separate the fraction, right? One plus one over 100. And that one can be written into 1 plus 1 over 101. That one can be written into 1 plus 1 over 102. All the way. 1 plus 1 over 199. And how many, how many brackets? Exactly 100. And here, exactly 100 brackets. So we, all we have to do is compare the, this fraction and this fraction. Obviously one over 100 is a little bit bigger than one over 101, right? One over 100, a little bit bigger than one over 102. Right, the first one doesn't matter. The first one, they're equal. So overall, right, this, this is a little bit bigger than that, right? Each bracket is a little bit bigger. Right, so really, really a little bit bigger than two. Right. Strictly bigger than two, no problem. Right. And of course, if we're, if we're familiar with the binomial expansion, right, interestingly enough, so binomial expansion tells us that's equal to one plus, one plus the n choose one, n, n choose one is n, times 1 over n plus n choose 2 right, times 1 times 1 over n squared all the way and that's equal to that's equal to 2 that's already bigger than 2 because this part is positive right everything else remaining is positive so definitely strictly bigger than 2 no problem as long as n is greater than or equal to 2, right? If it's, if it's equal to 1, then that's 2, right? If it's greater than or equal to 2, then no problem. Right? But I think this, this method is still interesting. Right? This, this trick is still very interesting, very fun. And according to the same logic, I can... I can even... I can even rewrite 2 into n plus 1 over n times n plus 
2 over n plus 1. Uh, same pattern. Uh, every time I just make sure the uh, top is one unit larger than the bottom. Uh, one unit larger than the bottom. One unit larger than the bottom. Until I have to make sure I have exactly n fractions. So I start from n plus 1. I should end at 2n. And 2n minus 1. So that way, this cancel with that, this cancel with that, this cancel with that, and this bottom cancel with the pre previous top, and 2n still remains, and n still remains. So exactly 2. Right? So that's exactly just 1 plus 1 over n, uh, still partial fraction. So 1 plus 1 over n plus 1. 1 plus 1 over n plus 2, all the way 1 plus 1 over 2n minus 1. And of course, 1 plus 1 over n to the power n is again 1 plus 1 over n, 1 plus 1 over n, 1 plus 1 over n. All the way, 1 plus 1 over n. Exactly, n, many of them. And here I also have n, many brackets. Uh, same logic, every fraction here. Right, 1 over n plus 1. Right, 1, over, 1 over n, 1 over, 1 over n plus 2. Right? So each fraction is a little bit smaller. Right? Altogether, this is a little bit smaller than that. So, which means this is a little bit bigger than this. And that's, that's 2, by the way, right? So 2 is a little bit smaller. So which means this is a little bit bigger than 2. So we've really rigorously proven that the uh, left-hand side is really bigger than 2. So uh, at the same time, since as n gets big enough, right? So uh, 1.001 to the power 1,000, right? As n gets big enough, left-hand side will get close enough to e, right? So which means left-hand side will be smaller than 3. So how do we rigorously prove 1.01 to 100 is less than 3? Is it less than 3, right? How to rigorously prove it? So how can we prove 0 0.0999 to the power of 100? Right? And 0 0.9. Which one is bigger? Can we uh, perhaps use the same trick 